basically what I'm doing is I'm retrieving DNA, genetic information of animals and plants directly from ancient sediments. We thought, what can we do? Well, look at the dirt that everybody throws out, right? And that turned out to be a gold mine. We discovered uh, back in 2003 that it's actually possible, you know, with just a few grams of sediments to obtain DNA sequences from, all, from a variety of the mammals and the plants that were living, you know, in that region when that soil, so to speak, was surface soil. We still don't know uh, a lot about it, but we do know something. The DNA will be released to the surroundings, and a lot of this will be eaten by bacteria. I mean, they will use it as energy. So we will core 20 lakes in northern Norway and 20 in the Alps. We will do a full genome referenced uh, library and doing a, a genomic DNA to see, get much more detail about what has been living there in, part, in the past, not only plants but also animals, and see what is the effect of human land use and what is the effect of climate change. Sites which are preserved in permafrost have a fantastic preservation of all organic materials, insect remains including, included, and um, permafrost loss uh, results to loss of preservation. So we are losing all the paleoecological record as a result of losing the permafrost. and DNA is not the same source. Pollen does fly over regional areas for several hundreds of kilometers and the DNA is more of a local source. We try to keep the pollen compared to the DNA and so we estimated about 31 different lakes about this uh, transect from south to north. And what we can show now is that the composition of species is quite similar even if there is a regional influence by pollen. But more the local uh, expression is more important for the DNA. You can follow the story. We want the cartoons to be informative so that we, uh, we uh, subtly put some scientific information in that. But the second goal is to keep those cartoons fun to watch. Happiness, you are the first part. <laughs> no, 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 he's... Uh... We all want to understand how the changes induced by climate warming can be managed in order that the people living there or the whole world can survive. People need to have fun to be ready to concentrate on the hard science and to discuss and to work on scientific problems.